I'll now ask all Vietnam veterans in the audience to please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank our Vietnam veterans. Gentlemen, welcome home. We now welcome the Mike Novosel chapter of the Vietnam Veterans of America for a field cross ceremony. Please welcome Carol Carter. Good afternoon. We all have very busy day-to-day -day schedules and we tend to forget those who have sacrificed for us. Our veterans, those currently serving and deployed all around the world, and of course, those who have given the ultimate sacrifice while protecting, defending, and preserving our freedom. We are here this afternoon to remember and honor all of them. And on this anniversary of the beginning of the Battle of the Idrang, we would like to give special recognition to those who served and sacrificed on those fateful days in November 1965, the men of the 1st Air Cavalry Division. The field cross was first used in World War I. It was used to mark the place where a fallen comrade was buried after a battle or skirmish. This made it easier to return and retrieve the remains for a proper burial at a later date. It was used again extensively in World War II and has been used continually since then in many countries around the world by our military to show respect and to honor their fallen brothers and sisters. Remember, freedom is not free. We who are placing the item symbolizing the fallen comrade are all members of the Michael J. Novosel Medal of Honor, Capital Area Chapter 542, Vietnam Veterans of America, and or the Sergeant First Class Randall Schubert Special Forces Memorial Chapter 64. Sergeant Larry Carter will place the rifle. Sergeant Carter, Carter was in the 1st Air Cavalry Division, 8th Combat Engineers, Vietnam. Sergeant Carter is the recipient of two Purple Hearts and the Bronze Star. He served in Vietnam and Cambodia. The dog tags will be placed by Sergeant Dave Dunmoyer, Dunmoyer Special Forces, 5th Group, Vietnam. The helmet will be placed by Sergeant Ray Brown, 1st Air Cavalry Division, 2nd of the 7th, Sergeant Brown fought in the battles of Wei and Quezon. He is the recipient of the Silver Star for his actions during the Tet Offensive near Wei. Gold Star daughter Michelle Githensbaugh and Joe Galloway will lay our flag in a place of honor for all who have served in the armed forces of the United States throughout our country's history. They will be escorted by Sergeant Michael McLaughlin United States Marine Corps, Vietnam. Peg Brown, escorted by Ken Beck, will place a rose for all who have suffered the loss of a loved one while in service to our country. Taps will be sounded by Bob Goodman, and Amazing Grace will be played by Piper Tim Lively. remain seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise.